said, <laughs> Never eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and well, it was 13 days scheduled for this sequence, and they told John he had five. And we and didn't so see he how was it could not be very done. worried about it, but uh, you know. Yeah, because I also really love the idea of putting you know, do the whole scene inside the church. You know, yeah. so it's like what I did in The Killer, in the church, and the scene and tell of somebody's everything. You know, like the redemption, the revenge, yeah, the love, hate. You know, so all all inside the church, all in this scene. You know, and also is the you know, coming back. Uh, <laughs> For like a uh, trademark, you know, the white dove, the white know, dove right? <laughs> flying <laughs> around in the uh, the religious uh, the, uh, imagery, religious, you know, and the the symbolism and the action moments, you know. So well, it ended up being a lot more intimate and a lot more yeah. powerful, I think, than having all those extras running around. Yeah, it became less plot oriented right. and, and and more visual. Mm. In case we didn't tell you at the time, John. Michael and I were so happy to have a movie that you directed that we had something to do with in which there were all these doves flying no, around. Absolutely. It, really, it really filled us with uh, uh, your, your, enormous pleasure. Your fans might also be interested to know how many times we tried to talk you into finding a part for Chow Young Fat in this movie. And there just it's really true. wasn't one, of course. Uh, and guess what? daughter's on the way. It was at this location that Nick asked Mike one day, we've been shooting at each other for six months now. How come we never hit each other? (laughs) Before I could answer, he goes, oh, I get it. Troy and Archer are secretly in love with each other. (laughs) So uh, that's why they never die. Your son was an accident. I wanted to kill you. But you took it so personally. Why didn't you just kill and we get our Hong Kong standoff in the... Mexican standoff. Yeah. <laughs> this five-way Mexican standoff in this case. Hey, oh, John, you should talk about how when Gina came up to you and told her she wanted to shave her head for this sequence. Oh, I, yes, 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 I remember now. Uh, uh, but I didn't like that. No. <laughs> didn't like that. That's an understatement. I said, one, one has to uh, still look, uh, you know, uh, pretty, you know. And, yeah. And, but you also said to her it's, that the movie, the scene then becomes yeah. about you yeah. and your hair, or lack of hair, yeah. instead of about what the scene is about, which is Joan Allen is in the middle of all this. Uh, but she's very creative, though. Very smart. I mean, yeah. I mean she's a very, very smart bright. girl. She's always thinking. Yeah, always thinking and very uh, involved, you know. She's so good in this scene as well. Oh, yeah. Very powerful. Again, it grounded it in sort of a human heartbreak. And it lets you have fun with the more out there characters. Well, that was my idea, putting uh, the wife in, a, in the middle. In the middle, you know, because uh, I think uh, for the whole movie, she's the one, she's the uh, only one that's suffering all those kind of pain. I mean, she's the most tragic one. Yeah. yeah. So, and she caught in all, all the uh, Good and evil, you know, love and hate. Yeah. Well, she's the hatred, only. Hatred, you know. She, yeah. And she's, she's the only yeah. one who doesn't know what's going on. She so, uh, yeah. Point. So that's why I came up with the idea. You know, put her in the middle, you know, and all all the guys are holding a gun, pointing at her. <laughs> well, it was great because you know? she's yeah. the stakes of the whole movie, yeah. or it's the fight for her. Take care of our boy. I love Gina's death scene in this. She's really awesome. She has died in a kind of devotion that he's that Archer himself has not really never known. And um, I think that's part of his healing. Well, he pays her the ultimate respect he and keeps takes that child in. And she saved his life right now and his wife's life, too. One of the uh, fascinating little details, at least to us, uh, about the title of the movie is the slash that came between the word face and the word off, which is now de rigueur with crazy beautiful and nip tuck and a whole bunch of other things but at the time it was a big crisis for the studio because they didn't know how anybody was going to be able to put that on a movie marquee much less the the confusion factor they didn't know what it was so i actually had to go into a meeting with all the department heads and studio people and defend the title i went through all sorts of circular joseph campbellian 
explanations about the slash being a metaphorical knife separating good and evil, blah, blah, blah. And then finally I figured I was sort of wearing them out, but I still wasn't sure I had to convince. So ultimately I just said to them, look, without the slash, people are going to think this film is about ice hockey. And uh, he ended up with the slash. I have something crazy to tell you. I have something crazy to tell you. That was Claire and I covering our asses again. That's another example, again, for you screenwriters out there. We couldn't keep repeating the story, having people admit what was really going on. Again, boring for the audience to say it more than once. So she's saying it over his cell phone off screen. And uh, the next time we see Margaret Cho and James Denton, they're informed without having the audience suffer through it yet again. Of course, here's where the microchip gets dislodged from the uh, larynx, uh, the larynx, laryngeal <laughs> implant. Uh, your girl, Jen! Shut up! Honey, don't listen to him, honey. He's not your father. Hear my voice. I'm your father! Both are speaking with Travolta's <laughs> voice, which is all, a lot of fun. was a lot of fun for, for uh, the plot. And, of course, she makes the wrong choice. Yeah, which but was... But Travolta's response here... Is entertaining. No daughter of mine, which was so wide. Which was fun f to have him because I think a lot of people, see, a lot of people mentioned to me that they were sure she was going to shoot Travolta. She was going to somehow know, and it was much more fun to have her do the wrong do thing. the wrong thing. It's in Papa's bag. Peaches. Earlier, he licks Nick Cage's face in the prison. Yeah. He just is a old school licker. And this is the scene, moment that got the biggest applause from every s audience we saw uh, the movie with. Where she uses his own good advice against her. You should mention about rock. That's rock, isn't it? <laughs> yes. That's John's, one of John's favorite pr people, our, w our weapons expert, uh, Rock Alati, who okay, yeah. got to die in a John he, Woo movie. He just took one for the team. 